out there hi guys welcome back to my channel and thank you for joining me if you're new here welcome and if you guys have been here before thank you for taking time out of your day to come join me again um if you're new here my name is karen i do um beauty majority and some lifestyle uh, style videos um and if that sounds interesting to to you don't have to to follow me i'm just gonna adjust my camera again um and as you can tell i am doing a mystery unboxing of my cindy grace so cindy grace always does christmas in july and it's pretty much at the end of july um and they have different deals each day and i think the event was eight days long and i should have bought this mystery bag when they had a mystery bag promo so i think it was like if you buy one mystery bag you get the other one free and i was like I was totally gonna not do the sale at all, like bypass it and not do it at all. Um, but then I saw Kelly from Keep Beauty Wheel and I was like, damn it. <laughs> and they had cream bronzer that they just came out with. So I'm hoping I got a uh, cream bronzer shade. She did open up one of her mystery bags and um, there was this cream bronzer that was more not her skin tone, but I don't know. Anyways, this cream products, so this cream blushes, cream bronzer, um, cream eyeshadow, yes, and then you get like other things with it, and then you can get brushes as well from them. So I think I ended up picking up two bags, um, but let's get the box. This is what the box looks like. It's all, it has my name on it but it's like has kind of post and stuff on it it doesn't really have it doesn't say Sydney Grace and then it talks about um my custom fee um I keep forgetting that I pay customs for some orders sometimes you over like I know that if you do Pat McGrath it's free shipping over a hundred dollars or something and Charlotte Tilbury does free shipping over 50 but I swear to god it's indie makeup that I always get ding for customs, um, like duty, paying duty for it. So, yeah. All right, let's open this box. There's nothing exciting about this box, to be honest. Oh, I got the tape on the sides. So, right at top, it would tell me. Oh, and then I got some single shadows as well. So, I got... I ordered a black mystery bag, uh, which is black cream deep. And I also did a dark pink, which is purple deep. I don't, I don't wear that much purple, so I might as well get that. And the creams deep means that it's more, I thought it was cream products. I think that's what it is. And then I ordered four of the eyeshadows. So I ordered the last day of the sale. I saw, I my wish list had a lot of single shadows on it, so it's forty percent off for single shadows. Um, and I went crazy and spent almost like a hundred dollars. I'm like, what am I doing? Like, I keep buying single shadows, but I don't use all of them. And I was like, hey, get the colors that you really, really want. So that's what we're gonna <laughs> look at right now. So this is what that looks like, the box, and then here what the inside looks like. So I got my two mystery bags and then I have some single shadows in this box right here. They always send in this cute little, sorry, and keep this cute little box like that. So we would do the sh um, single shadows last. Hopefully you don't get repeating shades. Usually the mystery bags don't have shades from the regular line, but I sometimes they do. So yeah. Oh. I don't know if you guys would want to see my outfit, but I did post this on Instagram. I got it from Sheen. So I will list everything, like what I'm wearing. Uh, jewelry, I will list down below. I think I got this AliExpress. Nails, I got done a nail salon. Look how beautiful and like spring colors. Like this would just make me happy. Reminds me of sunset. So I went with the sunset vibe because it's August. So anyways that's the vibe i went with all right let's go should we do the purple bag first and then do the creams so this 
oh my god this is gorgeous i love how they do rose gold so the bags are different this year they open up more this way not from like this on uh, a vertical they're more horizontal so if you open it, it goes like this so i got that bag and i got the oh i like the black bag well these would be so nice to travel with and then i got this bag all right so let's put the box on the floor so that way i could put my recycling in there which one should we do first should we do the pink oh, i really like the pink too these are pretty bags i have my green one from last year these bags are bigger but i like how they as horizontal opening so that's what it looks like um they obviously didn't close this properly but it's fine and i want to see how much you could stack like how you can i'll put paper in it afterwards and then i'll show you what the bags look like okay right off the bat i got a brush which is awesome so this is the um, sgf01 so Cindy Grace Face Brush 01, I guess. So let's see what that looks like. That's what it looks like. I love the feel of the wood here. So cute. Look how cute that is. I don't know what to like. It says face brush. Well, this would be for like concealer. I don't know. I have to look it up. Um, like I said, uh, like I said. Uh, like you guys know, your makeup brushes could be for any reason, whatever you want to use them for. I can't get this back in the bag. Oh, there you go. In the plastic. So, I'm excited to get a brush. And it looks like I got some shadows and some powder, like highlighter. And looks like I also got a bronzer powder. Okay, so... I'm gonna go grab a palette, like an empty palette, and then I'm gonna put my shadows in there. So I put some stuffing in the makeup bag so you can kind of see what it looks like. So do you see how it's flat, but it's not as high, but it's cute to have your face down like this. So very cute bag. I really love the purple shade. It's not like a Barbie pink, but it's like a baby pink call it um and i got this idea from kelly um she put this in the palette and it's so much nicer so these are all my purple shades so do you see how these are mauvey so beautiful so i got three mattes and two shimmers and then i got a bronzer shade um a highlighter and a blush i'm thinking i'm keeping all of these i really like i don't really have neutral color blushes as much i don't have that I think the highlighter will be very pretty. I don't know if it's too dark. Um, and I think the bronzer might work. So we, we could do some swatches. I just don't want to touch. I feel like the bronzer might be too dark. I kind of need to compare it. I think let's do swatches at the end. Um, I will have to compare my the bronzer shade with my other shades that in my collection I have uh, I might not even keep it depending I will like I might not even keep any of the powder face um, any of the powder complexion products I might just keep the single shadows so the reason I went with the mystery bag is I realized that since I did the singles if I did the mystery bags I would get five shadows anyways so and also hard for me to choose which shadows I wanted um, single shadows so this way I didn't really get a discount but I still got some mystery bags and I got more worth my money kind of like you know I spent I can't remember how much I spent were they, were they $40 $60 I can't remember I think they might be $30 bags and you get a lot for your money so that's why I went with that anyways let's move on to the black bag which is supposed to be the creams deep creams so that would be nice so this is what the bag looks like and this is my products so it looks like i got some single shadows again which i only got four. Oh, okay um these are like very neutral colors actually i never got any repeating shades that i already have so that's good i got a cream shadow 
in Divinity. I don't have that shade actually. So that would be nice to look at. Ooh. This looks like a champagne almost. Ooh, that's pretty. I would do swatches. Don't worry. I kind of wanted this kind because I was more neutral and I don't I don't do neutral guys. But I'm excited about this. I don't have a cream product by them. I don't think I do. I thought I did, but I don't think I do. Um, and then I have a cream bronzer in brown sugar. Yes. I wanted. This is what the packaging looks like. So I have three packages like this. And they're kind of facing the, uh, like the Cine uh, Grace is down. And they're kind of showing what I got in my bags, which is awesome. I was hoping for another brush, but it's fine. Um, so this is a cream bronzer in brown sugar. Then I have a cream highlighter. And I have a cream blush. I love how they give you pretty much full face stuff. So, ooh, I think brown sugar might be too dark. I might need to keep the packaging though. I'm going to keep the packaging just in case if I can't have, can't use it. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's really cute. And that's what brown sugar looks like. I don't know if that's going to work. Oh, I hate trying on things. I guess I could still... I really want to try the cream bronzer. I've looked at the bronzer shades online and see what's what they have them described as before I start putting my fingers in and swatching it. I know swatching is good, but what if I want to you know sell it or whatever or give in like a giveaway which i want to do one day oh this is soak up the sun highlighter it's a cream highlighter i might give this away because it's too gold for my skin tone you see that it's beautiful though yeah but i think it's way too golden for my skin tone so i'm not gonna keep that one so we're not swatching that guy I'll put that back in the packaging. I it won't work on my skin tone. I'm not not my thing. This is the blush in strawberry cream. Ooh, I'm looking forward to see what that looks like. See, at least if the blushes are dark, you could kind of still wear them. I did pick the deeper version. Ooh, so this is strawberry cream so pretty it's gonna be a nice fall color I'm excited about that all right and then let's put the shadows in the magnetic palette and I'm going to also look up online the different bronzer shades that they have for the cream bronzers and also look at the powder stuff too here is the rest of the shadows here they are um, this coffee cake butter cream or butter cake. I I will swatch them and I'll tell you the names after. But look how cute these neutral neutral quad is. And then I have like more of the purple mauve tones up here, which is beautiful. But I like how this kind of goes with the blush powder stuff here too. Like look at that. So that is the single shadows I got in the mystery bags. And then I'll include the rest of the shadows that I have that I bought in in this little palette as well and I'll do swatches at the end but let me quickly run off camera figure out the color situation before I start swatching any of the cream stuff and any of the powder stuff of the face complexion because I just don't want to swatch it and then I don't end up using it um I'd rather give it away uh, like sell it on my Poshmark or do a giveaway which is gonna be tough to do if depending on what the color is um just because if it's too deep for certain skin tones it, you know you don't kind of don't really want it um I might even do a giveaway if you guys want to try and enter it I don't know I don't know yet because I'm trying to do a giveaway for 500 I haven't reached that yet um so 
help me out <laughs> but i'll be right back okay i unboxed the rest of the shadows that i ordered i actually ordered four but sydney grace was so nice and gracious that they actually threw in two extra shadows one is a shade that i actually wanted i can't remember what it's called now well i actually had it on my list it's called chasing waves it was one of the newer shades um i actually that had that matte in my uh, wish list like in my cart and then I delete it off and then they give me another mat so I got two extra mats and I got the four I ordered these are from the um, deep oops there's not my finger through the shadow good job this is what I got in my mystery bag with my cream products um, which was the cream deep version which is the black mystery bag this is the purple deep mystery bag with these three products so i have decided i am not going to keep any of i'm not going to keep the bronzer or these three the big i'm not going to finish them i know i'm not going to finish them because they're complexion products i rather keep the single shadows instead but i am going to repackage these and not swatch them um put them back in the original packaging which i put aside and i am going to keep the cream bronzer which is brown sugar and keep the blush which is strawberry cream and not keep the highlighter which is soak up the sun highlighter that i showed you which is like a golden highlighter which i know i'm not gonna wear i'm looking at it and i'm not really a big fan of cream highlighters so I'm going to get rid of that. Maybe I'll keep I'll keep the um, highlighter and the powder version then. This guy right here instead. Um, just because I'm getting rid of I'm not keeping the cream highlighter. So let's get into the swatches. Um, actually, I'm looking back at the cream highlighter and seeing if I actually will keep it. I don't know. I feel like it's too golden for me. So, let I really like the shimmer formulas by Sydney Grace. The matte, it's not as, it's not okay. I'm not saying it's bad, but I really love this. Like the shadows themselves are very buttery, and I've tried Sydney Grace eyeshadow palettes, uh, like the Mel Th Thompson one and also Enduring Love. So I know the formula, and I've tr I have I tried the single shadows yet? when I made my build my own palette um but I haven't really done that many mattes unless they're in the palettes I always do the shimmer because I love shimmer <laughs> um so let's get into the swatches we would do the purples first and we would do the neutrals and then I would do what I ordered and then we won't do any of the face compression products except the creams that I'm creeping and we will I have to package up the other stuff so let's get into the swatches. I'm going to pack that stuff away in case I get things dirty here. Because I don't want to cross-contaminate any of the shadows with the stuff I'm not keeping. Um, oh yeah, and just want to also let, say that when I was looking online, I couldn't find any of this. So I guess the mystery bags are not stuff that I in this stock. So the, it's brand new separate stock that... you you don't know what you're getting so it's not like you could go online and see okay oh yeah i got that shadow so it's not the mystery bags exclusive different kind of products i don't know if they come out with the products afterwards but it's stuff that you can't get again i know those certain shadows that i got my last mystery bag and like two of the shadows were in this stock but the rest weren't um, but this time around, I don't see, I don't know if I saw any that might be in the regular stock. Um, but I haven't seen any. I tried looking for the browns. I couldn't find the um, matte browns. I couldn't find it in their website. So I think there's certain shadows that I think there's wear of certain shadows that you might get in the mystery bag. So that's kind of good because if you have ordered the single shadows it's kind of nice that you won't have repeating shades i know kelly got some i think two or three repeating shades in her video um but like she has pretty much a lot of Sydney grace products same with um kendra morgan she loves Sydney grace so 
yeah anyways let's get into the swatches i keep freaking getting too excited about this let's get into the swatches and um i will show you the shadows um and i will swatch them and then show you the names i also will write them in the description box so you guys could follow along what's on my arm i'm gonna try to fit all of them here i might do the creams on here just because if i run out of space over here so let's get into the swatches those were the swatches thank you for joining me i just wanted to let you know that the brush i looked it up it's a powder brush a small powder brush i think it's for like under eye powder because that will fit nicely under eye which that would be nice to my collection because i don't i think i only have one i think i have this guy right here which is by your techniques uh, from under eye i think it's more like a highlighting but this is more dense so it'll be nice to 
get under um, the eyelid here. Anyways, they reach that one is on the website. I forgot to mention that, and that was twelve dollars. So that's really good that you got that in your mystery bag. And I think there were some eye brushes I saw in some people's mystery bags. But thank you for joining me. Um, hit that like button if you haven't. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And um, also write down your comments down below if you guys have any questions or concerns or whatever. If you guys got this Christmas in July. I also got this cute little sticker by Cindy Grace. Which is this Christmas in July and Cindy Grace on the side. Which is so freaking cute. I think I'm going to put that on one of the palettes. Uh, where I have my Cindy shadows maybe. Um, just because that will be just to let you know that the Cindy Grace shadows in there which is really cute um hopefully like I said um stay safe be kind to each other and take care I'll see you guys next time bye